Hello guys, welcome back. User management is most important for any organizations, applications, or any tool you use. User management comes under administration, and we must ensure that the appropriate permissions have been provided to the users. Today in this video, I'll show you how we can create, modify, and set permissions of an user in Jenkins. So let's start. Let's log into your Jenkins server. Once you log into your Jenkins server, go to Manage Jenkins. And if you go down below under Security, you'll find Manage Users. Okay, just click on Manage Users tab. And here, if you want to create a new user, you can just go ahead and create users here. You have to just provide a name, uh, username to that. Suppose in my case, suppose I'll give KBJ and uh, give a password, like uh, just give a password to that. Give a full name, but user, suppose BJ Kuma and email address like uh, BJ that key at marlinblue.com, okay? The company email address, and then create you. So once you click on create user, you'll see here one user is created name as KBJ. So our user is now created. Now, if I just log out of this admin user, and I'll just log in to suppose KBJ and give the password, so what will happen if you see here Vijay Kumar is just logged in you can see here the Vijay Kumar has all the access to read the projects and jobs you can see here the Vijay Kumar will not have access to create any job or any modify even he cannot able to trigger any job so if you select any job suppose uh, let me select any job kind of like login web app project so if you go here you'll find there is no build options available for Vijay Kumar. That means he cannot trigger, he cannot modify anything. So how the permission has been set up? Suppose you, in case you need to change some permissions level of Vijay Kumar, then how you will do that? So what you have to do, let's go to the dashboard, go to uh, log out from here, okay? And you have to log in as the, the administrator has to provide the access. So here, the administrator is Ranjit Swain, who is the administrator admin ID, okay? And what he has to do, he has to go to the Manage Jenkins. You have to go to the Manage Jenkins, okay? And then what you have to do, let's go to the security again. In the security tab, security field, you find configure global security option. Click on this. See, we have this authorization section. And also you can find here the security realm where you can see Jenkins own user database or the LDAF if you are uh, going to use the LDAF connectivity or access uh, using the LDAF, you can select this LDAF and provide Unix user group or databases, whatever you want. You can just provide those particular users and select those particular database and do the required setups as i am going to use the jenkins own user database let it be selected so authorization details here you'll find again anyone can do anything legacy mode okay logged in users can do anything and project uh sorry metric based uh metrics based security project based metric authorization metrics authorization strategy all these details will be available here Suppose I have select project based metrics. What will happen if you select this one? You'll find one options like this where you'll set off the required permissions level. Now, if you see here, the user group, we have this anonymous authorized authenticated users and Ranjit Swain. These are the groups and users with here anonymous user and Ranjit Swain. And here you can find one group is called authenticated users. So when we created this KBJ, the user name, right, user ID, it falls under the authenticated users group. If you see here, it has permissions only, overall permissions, read, and 
overall job permission read also that means he can able to log in to the jenkins and see all of the, the details whatever is available also the job details he can read on suppose if you want to remove this one overall read and for authenticated users and save it right let's save it save it if i just if the user will log in uh, to the account suppose again okay bj see what it says k bj is missing the overall read permission that means he cannot able to see anything in the jenkins that means he does not have access to jenkins details to see the details now how will do this one now if i go here manage jenkins and go to the configuration global security and here let me give permission to the particular user suppose in this case i'll give permission to suppose k b j right so type k b j here okay so username is b j kumar let me give the overall read access also the job read access okay now save it now if i go log out and log in back to kbj let me see one now what will happen here see bj kumar is having all the accesses to jenkins also he can able to read the jobs but he is not able to execute anything here he is not able to execute anything here now what i do let me just log in as administrator administrator user again what we do here let me just give some options called configure right user can able to do configure so vijay kumar can do able to configure can able to build right uh, so these three options i selected four options overall read and uh, read execute okay configure and build options so all these things have been provided however there is no delete option selected now let me save this one okay so the administrator now provided appropriate access level to the bj kumar now if i just log out here and log in as k bj the bj kumar is having now all the permissions okay now if i go here you can see here now it the build option is coming now the build option is coming any job if you select any job if you go to there you'll find the build now so now the bj kumar can able to build if if he wants to delete the job he'll not able to delete the job or project because we have not provided delete access you can see here we have the configure options also now bj kumar can able to configure the jobs if it, if the job is required any changes he can able to do that now you understood clearly how you can do the permission setups okay now if you want to change the password of the user i will change the password so let's go to the manage jenkins go to the manage users and here if you want to change the user password click on this and you will see here one configure options like configure go down you will see here the password options now if you want to change the user password you can simply select the appropriate password here okay and then change it save so in this way we can do the user management in jenkins hope you understand clearly if you have any doubt or any concerns please do write me in the comment section below i'll try to answer your queries thank you if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe now so that you'll get notified when i add more videos in my channel thank you